Okay, we've got the Uniden BCD 436 HP portable scanner made by Uniden and from now on I'm just going to call it the 436. I've taken the back cover off. It comes with a bell clip, it comes with the wrist strap, it comes with, mine came with this adapter for the antenna. So you could go from uh, SMA to BNC. And it came with three rechargeable batteries. These are 2300 MAH. They're nickel hydride batteries, the NIMH batteries, three of them. And I have recently taken those out and put these in. These are 20, what are they? Uh, 2500 uh, Nuon batteries that I picked up at a local battery store here. Batteries Plus store. Okay, in the back of the scanner you'll see where the chip goes in. SD chip, it's a micro SD chip, the little red one there. It's inside of a little cover. You push this little thing back here, this way, and the thing springs up. It's very fragile, be careful. Uh, it comes mounted already. You you get a four gigabyte SD chip, which is good for uh, scanning. Um, you know, beginner scanners, whatever. Um, I, I put a sixteen gig chip in there because I record a lot of what I do. Okay, so let's go ahead and mount the batteries. The correct way. Top one and the bottom one go that way, and the third one goes in here. We put the cover on, and we're ready to turn the scanner on. Turning the scanner on, you've got the dials here, uh, one through zero. Then you've got one that says E, yes, and a period, no. You've got avoid, you've got replay, zip code, and the power button. At the bottom, you have three white ones, system, department, and channel. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on, this bottom button here. Makes a little beep, it gives you this welcoming screen here. And it comes on, it says nothing to scan. So, to, to fix that, we're going to go ahead and put in our zip code. So you hit the zip code button here, which is right here. My zip code is 8... Oh, I'm sorry. It says on the top USA or Canada. We, we went, so we've hit yes for USA because that's the one that's uh, highlighted there. Now we put in the zip code. My zip code is 84737. Yes. It's processing. It says please wait. Now it's loading. Now I live on the corner of uh, Utah, Nevada, and Arizona, so it's collecting all three of those areas. And it says now loading the full database. Takes it a minute. And now it starts scanning. You hit the power button again, just one tap on it, and that turns the light on, which makes it a lot easier to see. Up here, have a safe trip. And right away you start hitting, you start getting hits. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the uh, um, menu here. You can see how it's coming up with another hit there. It's got three lines of information, which we'll get into. But let's go ahead and go to the settings. I hit this button here to go to the menu, the bottom one. The top one is, is the F button, the function button. Bottom one is the menu button. Go up here to the top button, and you can scroll through the list. It starts with set scan selection. We'll go uh, clockwise. It takes us to settings. Hit this button again, or you can hit the E button for yes. And that takes you into the settings. And the very first one is adjust the key beep. Simple enough. 
the higher you go, the louder it gets. Let's put it at 8. We want to set the clock, which I've already done. And so you would set the day, time, time zone, and say like set daylight savings time, which is pretty standard, easy enough to do. To get back out of that menu, hit the menu button again, takes you back one step. Go to, uh, you have upgrade, if you want to upgrade uh, things on it, uh, your battery options. Uh, you can set the battery save, set the uh, charge time, set battery low. Band defaults, auto shut off, replay, restore, C scanner, and on. That's the settings. Okay, we'll go one up to display options. Set the backlight. I have the light on now, and I, I think I've already set it here for squelch, so that if, when the radio comes on, it stays on for 10 seconds. Go back, key press, so if you press one of the keys, Let's just set it for 10 seconds. Makes it easier to see. Okay, and go back. And timeout. I have it on infinite, so now while I'm doing this uh, instructions, it'll stay on, hopefully. And um, it, it won't time out. Okay, I go back. Now, of course, if you left it on infinite all the time, that light would stay on all the time and, and it wears your battery down. Okay, so we go back to, to the... Uh, uh, set the backlight mode, go back again, set the dimmer, uh, you want high, middle, low, I like mine on high, go back again, adjust the contrast, uh, display the unit ID, uh, set ID format, we'll get into that later. Okay. Now if we go back all the way to the top again to set scan selection, all we have in there is the um, nationwide systems, which is the second one here. So we go to set nationwide systems. And what do you want to listen to? You have air shows, amateur radio, amateur radio in USA. The first one was Canada, this one's USA. And a, a tap of the button here or the E button here, you can either turn it on or off. Um, if you don't want to listen to the American Red Cross, hit off. Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, off, and on and on. And, and there's a whole bunch of different ones here. If you see it that it's got a line through it, like this one here, it says Environment Canada. That's because we're not in Canada, we're in the United States. Uh, so if we keep on going down, you can see that all of them are on. Okay, we we'll get back to air shows. Air shows is the very first one. So now to get back to the um, to get back to scanning, you can either hit system or you can hit this until it gets back. So let's just hit system, and that takes us back. And it's going to go through every single every. <laughs> It's going to go through every single, you know, scan every single channel that is programmed in there. And where does it get this stuff? It gets it from uh, Radio Reference and from the Sentinel. So, if you want to adjust the volume, you hit it here. When you do hit it here, it brings up the little line down here for the volume. It also brings up, when you hit it, it brings up how, how much battery you have there. I have 3.77 volts, and it, it goes off after a few seconds, so we'll hit it again. Here's high volume, dark bar all the way, low volume is no bar. So we're bringing it up to about level 8 or 9, which is comfortable. Click it again. Okay. For the squelch, you hit the function button and you hit the top button again. That's squelch. Uh, 2, 3, 4. I'll leave it on two. That seems to work pretty good. Hit the uh, back out button. Oh, that's the menu button. I'm sorry. Let's go back here. And the squelch it now is already off. Okay, that's pretty much the uh, learning how to just get started with your scanner, how to get it turned on, and how to use it. So that's lesson one. Stay tuned for lesson two.